Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia and PC Audio Labs again. Today we're back with our Cubase video tutorials. And in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to modify or change the velocity of your MIDI event or your MIDI notes in Cubase. So here we go. Um, I have a little, uh, uh, I guess, performance that I did. I'm not a piano player by any means. Uh, but I play this four chords uh, with a little virtual instrument that I have with a piano sound. So you get the idea, right? Um, four chords, uh, they're playing this like whole note feel. Uh, so if we double click on the actual MIDI event, the piano roll will open here, the editor. And here we can change the velocity. Now, what is the velocity? Velocity is a MIDI message that tells the virtual instrument how loud you play the actual key on the MIDI controller. This, this um, measurement of how loud you play basically translates into how loud the uh, audio is going to be associated to that specific note when the instrument uh gets triggered okay so think about uh a piano if you hit the piano soft typically it's not just the fact that it sounds soft but it also excites less harmonics so it's a little duller besides being softer and when you hit it very loud like an actual piano you hit it loud it doesn't just sound louder but it also sounds brighter because you're exciting like other harmonics so that's just a little bit of uh, velocity now, let's say that you just want it, like you recorded something and hey, I think this is too loud. I wish it could be softer. Uh, it's just too much. Um, well, you could re-record it, yes, and just play it softer. But if you're not a piano player like me and you're scared that you might not be able to do the performance again, you can modify the actual velocities to make them softer. So for example, check this out. That first chord, I feel like it's too loud. As a matter of fact, if you see the three notes from the chord, you see they're kind of red. The more red they are, the higher the velocity. The more blue, the lower the velocity. So if you like, you click on that note, like that note to select it, um, this information here it tells you where it starts, where it ends, the length, the pitch. That's an E2. That one's a C2. And that's a G2. So... Let's say that I wanted to make the whole chord softer. I could click and drag to select all three notes and then go here to velocity, double click and type, let's say uh, five. Oh, not, not 125, five. All right, let's do 10. Oh, 25, sorry. So um, we went from 100, whatever it was to 25. If we press play now, softer you see so it went from blue notes with which kind of mean that hey it's a lower velocity it's a color scheme from cubase to a little harder it goes red now let's suppose that you had uh instead of chords i'm gonna do this just for you to you know delete some of those notes if you click on this individual note that c2 this vertical line here that's velocity you see, it's a controller selection functions. It says velocity. You could, besides modifying the velocity from here, you could go down here to that vertical bar and just click and go up to make it louder. You see it's super red. Or you could click and go down to there and make it softer, right? So you can do things like that. Like, let's go ahead and make all of these super loud. 125. Now it's going to be pretty obvious when I go from this area here to this area to this note to this note. Let's let's give it a shot. Soft, loud, soft, loud. So that's how you modify your MIDI velocity um, in Cubase. Once again, you can click on the note and modify it from the actual velocity bar, or you can click on the note and modify it up here where it says velocity. You can click and drag or click and type. So that's it for today. 
That's how you change or modify your MIDI velocity in Cubase. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we'll be happy to help you. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.